Always love to see a P38 Range Rover, one of my favourite Range Rovers. This is the Grenadier I tested in my Grenadier review shortly after it came to Australia. Looking a bit different now with quite a few modifications here and there, not least of which is the tyres, racks, lights, everything you need. 6x6 Haflinger. Okay, so that was a mistake. It's not a Haflinger, it's a Pinsgauer. I heard uh, someone say Haflinger, and that was obviously in my mind. Definitely a Pinsgauer. The picture here is of a Haflinger. It's much smaller, and it's only four-wheel drive, although some Pinsgauers are four-wheel drives. Okay, on with the video. Getting to be set up for touring Australia. Really um, unusual and very innovative suspension system on this. We've got leaf springs load sharing but if we take a look underneath what we see is that it's actually got portal axles you can see there and it's independently sprung so you've got leaf springs portal axles and six by six drives at uh, so of course at the front so pretty rare so, quick trivia, what is the connection between these two vehicles which are both at the meet today? Put it in the comments. Older Hilux sporting a good old Stano, which seems to be standard for P-Platers. But look, at the front, rollers and synthetic ropes. This is the mark of a driver that knows what they're doing. Oh, it's got a love for Jimmy. Old Discovery, going to demonstrate a really cool feature of Land Rovers not many people know about. So you can see the diff is off centre, which actually helps in ruts because typically the highest part of the rut's the middle. But the front diff's actually lined up with the rear diff, unlike some vehicles where you've got an offset diff at the front and then it's central at the rear, so you're making it two types of ruts. So a subtle little bit of Land Rover engineering there. In contrast, Let's take a look at the G, and we can see here that the diff is on the right hand side as we're looking at it, but at, at the front, and at the back it's a central diff, so two lowest points on that as opposed to just the one. And another older Hilux also run with synthetic rope and rollers. Interesting, quite a lot of synthetic rope on that. Uh, that's why I only run limited rope on mine so that it goes on nicely without sort of bunching up too much. And here we've got a beautiful looking GQ. It's for sale. Now I'm going to show you the price in a second. So you've got just a few moments to figure out how much do you reckon it would be worth. So we've got spotties at the front and we've got some form of winch there. Newish looking tyres. Roof rack. Not sure what else. Let's take a look. And it is $15,000. Unfortunately, some idiots have just seen fit to rev the hell out. I mean, who the hell do they think they're impressing with this idiocy of revving engines up to that sort of level? It's just ridiculous. Anyway, back to this point. What have we got? New brakes, pads. Okay, quite a bit of work being done to it. Do you know what? This would actually make a really fine sort of weekend four-wheel drive. Seeing fewer and fewer of these now as I think people move into older ranges. And finally, spotted this 4x4 high ace. I don't think it's part of the meet. I do think it's a factory import from Japan. But I have recently reviewed a high ace converted with LC200 parts off-road. So take a look at that video if you're interested.